before halftime, the pick six, what did that do for you guys emotionally? Man, I think it was just a kind of like a relief, you know? It just gave us some momentum, you know, going into half, getting the ball back. So I think it was just kind of like a relief, like, dang, like, we just made a play and now we capitalized on it and put points on the board. So I was just happy for Coop, happy for our defense. I mean, was it, was it feeling at all like things were not slipping away, but I mean, you guys kind of had control of the half mm -hmm. and they had a shot to go into half. And that's why I was wondering if it was mm -hmm. really a, a big shot in the arm or? Uh, I mean, yeah, it was for them because uh, they were driving on us a little bit and getting digging and dunking the ball out of bounds and stuff. But then we sat on the route and then just executed from that. Mm -hmm. uh, much praise to Ron Cooper. And then for Easton, Reesers have made a big impact on this on this team over the last several years. It felt like tonight it really made a difference. Did you did you feel that way? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, similar to Utah, it was like I said before. It's really good when uh, even though we can't hear, but we know the offense can't hear when they, when the crowd noise is loud. But uh, yeah, Beaver Nation showed up again. Uh, I think that's all in our favor because they they got to get their their checks and their calls. So uh, yeah, good good showing by Beaver Nation. As I was heading out of the stadium tonight, I heard a fan yelling at UCLA calling them traitors. Does it do anything for you guys to you know, rack up these wins against the teams that are leading the pack? Yeah, I think it's, it's a good win. That was a very, very tough physical team. By, by no means does the score resemble uh, how, how hard the game was. It's really hard to win a, a college football game, no matter what the score is. Um, but yeah, I think they showed up. They played really well. But I think the, the best teams in the conference won the way to win, and we did that tonight. Um, Kelly looked like you had a chance for a pick uh, earlier on that first series. <laughs> the very next play, you had a chance. I mean, what's going through your mind when you, when you miss an opportunity and you get it pretty much the next play? You know, uh, so we talk about this a lot in our DB room. Like, if we miss a play opportunity, that's big because then the, the offense could capitalize from then. It tends to happen in college football today where if a, a DB or defense misses an opportunity, the offense tends to score like off of a big play off of that, or they'll get, they'll drop the ball down, get a big play. So, you know, I just got to stay locked in. And then, yeah, that's really it. Just stay on my man and lock up, man. <laughs> Easton, a couple weeks in a row now, the run defense hasn't quite been up to the par that you guys have shown, you know, the first few weeks of the season. Any concern there? Or do you guys think just getting back to doing what you do in this bye week will kind of reset your guys a little bit? Yeah, we got, we, we got we to, gotta, we gotta, we gotta pick up uh, the, the run game, the run game a little bit. Uh, credit to them. The last two teams, they I don't want to I don't want to act like we're just the, the top dogs and everything. You know, credit to them. They had a really good run team, run offense, great backs, really good old line. So it's not easy to win, like I said. So, uh, but but that's still not the standard for us. Of course, we always gotta we always gotta improve. So uh, this is a big bye week for us. We'll, we'll take a look at the tape and then uh, get cleaned up. Eastern, at the beginning of the season, you said the standard is being the best after your win against San Jose State. You guys are now. 2-0 against some of the better defensive teams in the Pac-12. Do you feel like with each of these wins going on your guys' belt, you guys are reassuring that message that your guys' in Oregon State defense should be referred to as, again, as potentially the best Pac-12 defense and one of the best defenses in the nation? Yes, sir. I think the st stacking up wins is really beneficial to, to our whole, our whole uh, standard. I can say now, though, that I think all of us, each, each 11, each, each, every, each and every player on the defense side of the ball, we still haven't played our, our best football yet on that side of the ball. We still got one time we'll have really good run defense, but not the best pass defense and vice versa. So I think we still haven't played our full complete game where we shut down you know, every, every aspect of the game. And uh, I think once that happens, which, which it will, but it takes time. Like I said, the other teams are good too. Everybody else got D1, D1 players on their squad as well. So but like I said, finding a way to win, it feels real good. I mean, just you guys are both at the podium, obviously brothers. How special is this this season for you guys both to be able to contribute and be star players on this defense? How special is that for both of you guys? I got this one. I would say, man, it's just, it's like a dream come true. You know, we were little, we talked about this our whole life, you know, going to the same college, going to the NFL, playing on the same team. So now the dreams are coming true and you know, it's just, it's crazy, you know, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Yeah. I don't give credit to him too. He, this is not, not, not my best game, but you know, I was really banged up out there, but it's nice having my, my family out there to bring right. me, yeah. me up. What kind of an impact did it have tonight to have Cooper and Robinson back to the start, in the starting lineup? Man, it was, it was a, they had a huge impact today for us, you know. A lot of PBUs, a lot of plays that they made, Cooper getting the pick six, Robinson just getting all those PBUs for us, it was huge for us. And I would say, you know, credit to them, but also our young guys, you know. I think they stepped up for us uh, last week too, Jermaud. Who else do we have? Uh, 
We got Harlem in there. I mean, I think it's just everybody. Kane, Jack Kane, man, that was a big play for him. You know, it was a what was it third down. Yeah. They got a caught the ball and then he hit him, knocked the ball loose. Man, that's huge. So I think it's just our team, our DB room in general, not just those two people. You know, I think we all work together as a as a unit. And I think we we actually molded together. You know, today where everybody could play whenever they needed to. Uh, for, <clears throat> for you, Achille, just kind of talk about the importance of getting pressure on Dante Moore. And it seemed like you guys obviously were able to get that first pick and then second pick and then ultimately, you know, the third. How big was that? You know, he's a very talented quarterback, but didn't necessarily show it today. The crowd got into it a little bit. How big was that for you guys to just make him uncomfortable in this matchup? I mean, it was huge for us. You know, that was that was a game plan to get pressure on the QB and try and make him force some throws that he didn't want to make. And he ended up doing that, and then we ended up, you know, getting opportunities off of that and just making plays. So I think it was huge that, you know, we got pressure back there with our D-line, our linebackers, and I just thought it was huge for us today, you know, and I'm proud of our guys.